when we have information about the asset and we have that vulnerability status, then what we can do is use that to reprioritize any security incident that we see appear on the network. If it's a critical vulnerability, an incident involving that asset, it's obviously more important for us to have a faster response. So we can do that. The other piece to this though, is that we can also talk more, um, more clearly about what we've just discovered. So rather than saying we've just seen activity involving this address or involving this host name, but we don't really know what this is, we can now say with Nodeware, this is what we know about this asset. And that might give a clearer understanding to the customer that, that this is, oh, I, I recognize what that is. That's the first thing. Um, but then I can also then describe what we're seeing with that asset and what other activity as well. So we're using the information discovered from new assets in multiple ways. It's not just, let's get this to the patching team. It's also kicking off a number of different responses, depending on what it is, where it is, how critical those vulnerabilities are, and if we're seeing any, um, any incidents surrounding that as well.